It is time for the Iron Inter-Regional Championship. This match will be a best two out of three. It'll be a singles match. And unfortunately, a few weeks ago, a new rule was passed which made it so competitors cannot switch teams in between games. So I'm going to be stuck using the same team all two to three games. So hopefully I don't wind up with a very bad matchup. Because if I do, I could be very much screwed and lose my title. This is the Ion Pokemon League Inter-Regional Championship match. And it begins right now. What is going on, Mousetrap? It is I, Tesla Singer, bringing you the IR Interregional Championship Battle of the Month. And some things have changed since last time. A new rule has been implemented that you cannot change teams in between games. So we're going to be in this best way out three bout. We're using the same team, and he is too. And if our team is outmatched, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But I have a feeling that we can do this, that we can get through this, that we can retain the championship. I am confident. I am ready to go. I am not bringing any Ubers on this team today, so let me show you what I'm bringing before we start the bout. Ooh, I have a feeling. A good feeling about this. We are bringing our Mega Gyarados team with, starting out with, Mullen Glacia the Gyarados. With the moves, Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Dragon Dance. Has a Gyarados sight on it, obviously. It's Jolly Nature. It's, it's based on ability is Intimidate, which is not good if we fight a Defiant one. But yeah. And then we have Whisk Me Away, the Rotom Wash. It's our physically defensive Rotom. Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Willow Bus, Pain Split. We have Leftovers. We have Life Orb, Latias, with Draco Meteor, Psy Shock, Defog, and Recover. We have Mr. Landman, the Landers T. Choice Scarf with Earthquake, Stone Edge, Knockoff, U Turn. We have Electrona, the Volcarona, with. Fire Dance, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, and Quiver Dance. And we have Real Steel, the Scizor, Choice Banded with Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Superpower, and Pursuit for those pesky lotties that want to switch out. So, I'm going to go hop online. We're going to go ahead and battle Mr. Lemur and defend our title against him in a best two out of threes bout. I am ready to go. So, here we are. Let me go ahead and send him the challenge once I get online. This battle will be uploaded on Sunday. I'm not using any Ubers today because, um, because, well, I don't want Mega Salamis to be banned from the league. If I use that too much, it very well might be. And, yeah, I'll sad face. Even though it's broken as fuck. Still like using it, though. Alright, Alec, where are you? Are you Aliena? Is that who you are? Is that your IGN? It looks like you're IGN, so let's go ahead and send you not a trade. Let's send you a battle. Good luck to him or her. Have fun and let's do it. I don't know if um, Lemur is a male or a female. I don't really talk to people on the forums. I just sort of, you know, do my thing, battle when it's time, and do my other thing, and that's what happens. But good luck to them. Have fun. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and send the battle. We'll go with music number 21. And his team, or her team rather, is the following. Getting a little nervous here. What are you bringing? They are bringing Teleflame, Greninja, Gyarados, Rotom Wash, Landers T, and Amistar. Woohoo! Um, I don't know how I feel about this team, but I'm going to just say woohoo and hopefully win. Uh, Teleflame, Rotom. Amastar, Gyarados, Lando T, and uh, Greninja, I guess. He has no hazard remover unless Amastar gets rapid spin. I mean, it's possible, but Amastar or Lando T could be the rock setter. So we're going to actually lead off our Rotom Wash here. And we are going to go ahead and battle them. So yeah, here we go. So we basically have three of the same Pokemon. That is wonderful. 
I'm gonna keep track of his moves. And if I, when I do so, at least I'll know during the next spell. So, Amistar is the lead. Cool beans. Probably gonna set up rocks on us, I'm guessing. We'll go ahead and start with Volt Switch here. They could switch into Lane OT, which he's not going to, so that's fine. The Volt Switch does about 85%. We're actually going to hard switch into Lottius in case he decides to go for a Stealth Rock, which I'm guessing will be the case. Yeah, or a Shell Smash. Eek! That's not what we want to see. Um... I know Ice Beam is coming my way, but... Uh, I want to do some Kelks now. Now I want to do some Kelks, so... You know, when you do Kelks in the beginning of the match, it's never a good sign. Alright, Latias, OU Offensive Support. Followed by... Amistar. I guess, are you Shell Smash? Yeah, we'll see what a plus two ice beam will do to us. Okay, it's gonna be a roll. I don't like rolls at all. Ah, I'm gonna have to sack with the Latias. I don't wanna do that, but I'll go for the side shot and sack it off, I guess. We'll go for the plus two ice beam. It could be a roll. And the rule says I do not survive. So rip. Oh, we got shell smash. We got ice beam. And we can just send out our scissor here. We get a bullet punch off on the honest star. Got a nice priority choice banded bullet punch. Let's not misclick. That would be really awful. And almost star goes down. Sweet. Uh, what's not sweet is we no longer have our hazard remover alive. That is not sweet. Here comes Talonflame. Alright. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch out and go to whisk me away here. You could go for Brave Bird. You could go for a Flare Blitz. Those are U-turn. Predictions are on point. I wonder, what do I need the, the scissor for? The Gyarados, I guess? So he's going to switch into Greninja, I'm guessing. Or his own Rotom. Or Lano T. So, yeah. In comes his own Rotom, that's cool for, with me. I would love that Latias alive for this Rotom, but... We'll go for a Will-O-Wisp. We missed the Will-O-Wisp. He, he, he misses the Will-O-Wisp as well. So we both miss our Willows, sadly. Well, I miss my Willows, sadly. Let's go for another Will-O-Wisp. We miss it! He goes for a Volt Switch. Rip. What is he, like Light Click? Like um, Bright Powder Rotom or something? That'd be really shitty. I'd be low-key very salty over that. Can switch into Greninja though. And Dink Pulse us. The Willow West Miss isn't too big of a deal though. Because chip damage would have been nice, but it's not really that game breaking at the moment. Alright, Landers T. Interesting. I have a very big fear that you might have a, you might be a rocker. I'm actually going for the pain split here. See what this Landers T wants to do. We go for the knockoff, that's fine. So it could be Scarf, he's not lefties. Could be Scarf, could be Banded, which I don't think. He could be Salt Vested, or... 
Or he could be Rocky Helmet. I don't know why I stop, pause to say that, but the Royal Wash is burned. I'm going to go for a Volt Switch right now. I don't want to stay in on this thing. Bye, Rotom. Please go into Volcarona. I mean, please go for will o so I can switch to my Volcarona and eat that up. All right, Electrona, it's all to you. Let's go. Eat that little mess. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Rotom. I mean, Volcarona. Well, let's go ahead and hit you with a Giga Drain. I'm not going to waste my time going for a Corby Dance. And Giga Drain does knock out the Rotom. Sweet! I am so glad he decided not to switch in Talonflame there. So Volcarona knocks out the Rotom Wash. Now he knows I have Gage running this Volcarona, so he won't fall for that next time. We're going to Landorus T now. I might regret that decision, though. Especially if Lando T dies. We want Mr. Landman for this Greninja. Brave Bird, okay. What does a minus one Brave Bird do to me? Look, over half. Could be banded, I suppose. Go back in the Rotom. I'm not ready to sack off my Rotom Wash quite, I mean my Lando T quite yet. Uh, we could go for a Volt Switch. He might switch to Lando T, though. We could go for a Hydro Pump. He could switch to either Gyarados or Greninja. Go for the Volt Switch. So he could be locked. He's not Life Orb. Uh, he's going to switch to Teleflame out. He's going to go into Lando's T. I should have saw that coming, I suppose. Knocked out my left hand, and I'm really cool. Go for Hydro Pump, though. Rockside, he wants to get the RNG flinch on me. Hit your Will O Wisp! Hit your Hydro Pump! Yes! Alright, cool. Rotom Wash knocks out the Landers team. Now, the problem here is that Rotom Wash is at very low health now. It will not take another Brave Bird from Talonflame. But, out comes his Gyarados, and out will come my Gyarados as well. I don't know what the point of our Gyarados is coming up are, but... You know. This is Moonblade Shield versus his Gyarados. My Gyarados is better. Low key. Not really. It's got a double intimidate on him though. Dragon Dance up. Alright, this is clip plus one now. I don't know if this is Mega or not. Do I go for the Stonish or do I go for the U-Turn? Play safe, go for the U-Turn. Well, probably not Mega. This, nope, he does not Mega. Of course he doesn't. We can get him down to minus two again. That's fine. If you want to play that way, that's fine. Waterfall? Sure. I'll go for a D-Dance. He's a D-Dance back. Hmm. 
He's at minus one now. We'll go for another D dance. Iron Head? He's going for the flinch. Great. He really wants to flinch my Gyarados. Come on, Gyarados, you can do it. He flinches again. What the hell? What the hell is this? Alright, Dragon Dance. Cool. So you got Dragon Dance, you got Waterfall, Iron Head, one other move. Let's go for a plus two, um... Go for a plus two crunch here. See if we can outspe outspeed. Hopefully he's not Mega Euler. That really sucks. Mold we'll Ricker, that's fine. Iron Head, ugh. Well, to his credit, he is getting very lucky in this battle. Too lucky, in fact. And he gets an Earthquake. He, re he relied right on RNG. With those Iron Heads and... Well, uh, uh, <sighs> he relied on the RNG. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Really? I can't even right now. I I can't even. Now he goes to the Mega Blitz. You know what? Gloves are coming off this next battle. <sighs> A bunch of shit. Iron heading and water pulling a water type though for flinches. Four flinches on Gyarados, and that cost me. I'm forfeiting this match, go right to game two and three, and I'm going to win. Hopefully. Don't mean to be salty, but RNG makes me salty. So game two, obviously can't change teams, so I'm stuck with the same team. That's fine, it's whatever. Alright, game two time. Oops, I did not save that video. Rip. Alright, Greninja, Talonflame, Amastar, Gyarados, Lando, which is obviously Scarfed, and we are going to do it this time. Two Willow misses, four flinches. Gloves are coming off here. 
So he's going to start rolling him as well as I am. He's probably going to go for a Will Owens to himself. Hits. That's fine. I want to go for a Lando T switch here. Because he goes to the Volt switch to get a free Volt. Um, and that's precisely what I'm going to do. I'm risking my Lando T. Not smart. But I'm going to be playing super aggressively this battle. Please go for Volt Switch. Do not go for Hydro Pump. Do not go for Hydro Pump. Well, it's a Draco Meteor that we're going to space off, and he'll be knocked out. So, Ron Wash is down. Uh, Gren Greninja. You are really mean, Greninja. I don't like you. Is your turn? That's fine. Life for Greninja? Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do, because last time you turned my Switch Scissor out, I don't know if I should go for Pursuit. Or what. I'm going for Pursuit. Please go for U-Turn. Yes! Alright. We got that correct, at least. Well, there's that. We could go for Scald, Social Road and Wash. So what's our low kick? This guy's a physical Greninja. I'm assuming, anyways. Hmm. I was really salty and triggered today, but hopefully, all will go well. Gunshot, and it hits, not surprisingly. <laughs> Hmm. Let's actually hope that he'll miss his move. Yes! Hey, I'm praying for RNG. 
Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna mull and glaze here. Get the intimidate off on the Greninja. That is at minus three. Then we'll hard switch into Scizor. I don't want to lose Scizor, I kind of want to priority Bullet Punch of the Amistar. So Gunshot doesn't affect Grin doesn't affect Scizor and Greninja is down. Hmm. I think the appropriate thing here is to stack off the Rotom Wash. Pretty Bird, that's fine. I don't think we'll take very little recoil from this. Now we're actually going to Mullen Glacia. Get the Intimidate off. It's got to be a banded Talon Flame though. I mean, watch this Talon Flame Bray Bird my Volcarona in the face and hopefully faint from recoil. Got to stack out the Volcaro and had no other choice. And Teleflame is down. We got Lando T. We have Almost Start. We have Gyarados left. Lando T comes out. Both are going to intimidate each other. I'm actually going to go for a Dragon Dance here. Hoping that Stone Edges do not kill me. Probably get Stone Edge here. Well, Breaker, that's fine. What's a Rock Slide? He's probably going to flinch me, knowing my luck. It flinches, of course. Go for a Dragon Dance again. We'll try to go for a Dragon Dance, maybe. Rock Slide, it's gonna hit. Let's hope it doesn't flinch. Alright, Dragon Dance, cool. Let's go for a, another Dragon Dance. Oh, I outspeed this time? Wish I'd known that. So I'm at plus one because of that intending. Alright. Let's go for the Ice Fang. Alright, Ice Fang's gonna kill Ender Steve, right? It's not Rocky Helmet. So now we have Amistar and Gyarados left. I'm feeling the wind coming on. I gotta get right I gotta get right back into the right state of mind here. Alright, here's the Gyarados. Alright, we are gonna go for a crunch, a plus one crunch on this gear. He's in the Mega Ball, of course. That's okay. Plus one crunch does like twenty percent. Defense drop, that's fine. He goes to the EQ. That's no problem. We do live. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a waterfall on this Gyarados. I really want to get to flinch. I really got to pray for the RNG in this match. And do we get it? We did not get the RNG. That's okay. 
Because I have a feeling that hmm. that si Ben who says his bull punch will take Gyarados out from this range. If it doesn't, I'm kind of screwed. I do know I'm not outspeeding this Gyarados under any circumstances. So come on. Plus one, not plus one, but bin and bull punch, go! Yes! So Gyarados is dead, now we got the Amistar left. I should not be so salty, but I am. Go for a bullet punch here. Shell smash, alright. Hopefully it does not have a herb. No, he didn't have a herb last time, so... After this bullet punch, he should go down, because he'll be at minus two, right? Yeah, he'll be on. Well, holy might minus one defense. All right, Bandit Bullet Punch will take out this Amistar, star, and we will win game two of this championship match. All right. So now we move on to game three. Whew. My goodness. I'm actually going to save, save this one. I was just so upset from the last battle because of all the RNG of the flinches and whatnot that I didn't save the last battle. And I feel kind of bad, but hopefully he has it saved. And we're going to go into game three. Obviously, it's going to be the same team. Lando, Greninja, Amistar, Talonflame, Gyarados, and Rhoda. I made a very brazen play by switching in my Lando T on that Rotom. Because I thought I'd bolt switch out to get in the little lowest spot, but I evidently I was wrong. So game three of the Ion Pokemon League into regional championship match. If I had lost that last spell, it would have been definitely my fault. Alright, Greninja. Now he's switching, he's starting out with Greninja. We'll go for will o -Wisp here. Go for U-turn. Probably going to Lando T expecting the Volt Switch, so if he does switch on Lando T, that would be beautiful. And he scores a crit. No, he doesn't. He just got a high roll in that U-turn. Alright, please switch into Lando T. And Rotom, please do not miss your will o -Wisp. That would be wonderful. Rotom, okay. So, Alright, Rotom Wash versus Rotom. We'll go for a Volt Switch on this Rotom. Hopefully, it goes for a Will O Wisp. Chris was in Volcarona, but I didn't want to take a Hydro Pump. But well, it does go for the will o -Wisp. It does hit, sadly. Uh, what are you going to do, though? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a Draco here. Because nothing on his team wants to switch into a Life Orb Draco from the Lottie Ness. Alright, Draco Meteor does hit, and Rotom Wash is down. This is feeling kind of like a repeat from the first game. And Rotom Wash is down. Alright, Latias takes out the Rotom Wash. We have Lando T, Ninja, Alma Star, Talonflame, and something else left. Here comes Greninja. We got new turn. Go on Molten Glacier here. Get Intimidate off on the Greninja. It's a physical attacking one. What's we'll the U turn? That's fine. Ugh. 
Even at minus one resisted us, still did a fair bit of damage, but then he got his life orbs, so. Who Gyros? Uh I feel very uncomfortable about this. Very uncomfortable. I know he's jolly, so he's gonna speed tie with me. We'll go for the Mega Evolution. Maybe we'll get a defense drop or something. Crazy. We'll break it, that's fine. We'll go for the Crunch. We'll see what a neutral Crunch will do to it. Ooh, does over 50% and gets a, um, a defense drop. Go for a waterfall. It goes to the Mega Evolution as well. Probably expecting to go for Crunch again. That's fine. Wolver right here, that's fine as well. Goes to a waterfall, probably attempting to flinch me. He does not get to flinch this time. His Gyros almost goes down. Go for another waterfall. Go for the earthquake this time. Probably gonna knock me out this range. Yes, it does. That's okay. We got Lando T. I do believe Scarf Lando T can outspeed Mega Gyros. I mean, plus one Mega Gyros. Pretty sure it can. I hope it can. Do I have a choice scarf on it? That I do, okay. I'm not worried anymore. We'll play your turn. Your turn will knock out the Gyarados, that's fine. We brought both brought Mega Gyarados teams. We both had basically the same three of the same pokes on the team. So I need to remember not to sack off the Lando T because we needed to outspeed the Greninja because we are scarfed. Gets a Lando's T. It might go for Rock Slide to try to flinch us. We'll go for Willow West. He goes like a U-turn. He might go to almost start expecting a Hydro Pump. <sighs> so much salt. Talon Flame. I don't like you at all. I don't like you at all. Or a pain slicks and they're gonna U-turn out. Yeah, they're gonna U-turn out. This thing is definitely banded though. We do know that. This thing is definitely banded. Here comes Lander's T. He'll go for a knockoff, I'm expecting. So I'll just Hydro Pump. Yeah, he'll go for a knockoff. Hopefully, I don't miss. That would be shit if we do. We don't miss. Alright, so Rotom Watch KOs the Lando T. Now, what's left is the Amistar, the Greninja, and the Talonflame. And he revealed like three physical attacks U turn, 
uh, low kick, and gung shot. So I can at least say this Greninja does not have hidden power or fire. <laughs> oh, that would so suck. Low kick, that's fine. Alright, so just... We got a Volt Switch off of Rotom Wash. I think I'm going to have to rely on Lando T killing the Talonflame with a Stone Edge. Which is never... Which is never something you want to rely on. Ever. We'll go for Pursuit in case he returns out. Look at that sign. Oh shit! That doesn't sound good. Oh, well, we got. We can pursue him. And knock him out because we're banded. So, out goes the Greninja. To a pursuit that's choice banded. That low kick did a hell of a lot of damage to the Scizor, though, but then again, I guess Scizor is pretty heavy. Alright, let's. Let's flutter off the Volcarona. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna flutter off the Volcarona here. Goes for Raybird, that's fine. Now what's scaring me here is that there's a choice I can make. I can go for the Stone Edge. But on the flip side, I'd be locked into it against the Amistar, and if I miss, well, rip. So I'm going to go actually for a knockoff here on his Talonflame. He goes to the Brave Bird, that's fine. And we'll knock off the Choice Band. Hopefully knock off the Talonflame in the process, which we do. I'm assuming it's a choice man in Talon Flame. It is a choice man in Talon Flame. So now we have Amistar coming out. We'll knock off the item as well. He'll hopefully go for a shell smash. I don't know if we can outspeed a plus two Amistar. Now, it didn't seem like it was max speed invested because our Rotom Wash outsped it and we we're only 8 speed EVs. But that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, we'll go for another knockoff and we'll see. Okay, we do outspeed it. And now, Lemon T's gonna think and we'll just bring our Choice Man of Scissor out and Bullet Punch and retain the Iron Interregional Championship. And I should probably get some popcorn because there's a lot of salt around me right now. I got salty about that first game. Alright, Real Steel. Let's misclick U-turn. No, let's go for Bullet Punch and make sure we don't misclick. I apologize. I got really salty about him RNG me with the waterfalls and the iron heads on my Gyarados, but uh, it is what it is. I mean... It gets, it gets to the best of us. And we do pick up the win in the third game of the best 2 out of 3, 3-0. Three oh. So we lost 0-3 game 1. We won 2-0 oh game 2, and we won 3-0 oh game 3. So we retain the Iron Interregional Championship. Um, good game to Lemur. Thank you for that battle. Sorry if you watch this and I get very salty game 1. But I am a very competitive battler, and I do get salty. And I don't try to hide that fact, but... Yeah, um, that was a those are crazy games. And thanks to you guys for watching this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Want to see more fantastic Pokemon battling action? And I will catch you on the flip side. And remember, stay salty, Rage Quitters. Stay salty, just like me. Yeah.